Hello everybody and welcome to Excel Made Easy. Well, this is your Excel Guru. Today with a new formula called ABS. Yes, it is read as ABS. Stands for Absolute Value. Well, it's a wonderful formula. Can help you with a lot of stuff. Now, before we proceed further, my own, my own pretty commercial. The file that you're watching is available, that we are reading, doing today, is available on this website excelmadeeasy.weebly.com once you go to this website you can once you go to this website you can simply go to the index yes this is my website go to this training file index and you'll be able to download this training file from there from there wherein you'll be able to play along practice along or just keep it with you as you choose Okay, this is an important icon over here. But if you click over here, it will take you directly to my YouTube channel, where all my videos are available. And yes, if you like the content, don't forget to click on the like button. All right, now coming back to business. All right, now the difficulty level for this is easy, and ABS, as I stand uh, told, stands for absolute value. We'll have to see an example to over here to understand it more correctly. Now, see in this column, I mentioned machine one, machine two, machine three, and this is these. This is the required column, which mentions the units that this machine has to produce. Now, these units have to be exact, 150. Now, the actual units produced by this machine were machine one, 120, machine two, 190, and machine three, 180. So, if you see the difference over here. It is 30, 60, and minus 30. Now, just just a brief thing. How did we get this difference? Another thing, how to subtract with Excel. What we did was, we entered the is equal to sign over here, which is used to start any formula in MS Excel. Now, once we moved over there, I chose the required field which says 150 then I put in the minus sign then I choose the actual field which gives me this result see so we learned subtraction also as simple as that now this is the error percentage now error percentage was calculated by dividing 30 by 150 all right, we'll sh I'll show you again. I'll put in the S equal to sign. I'll choose the difference column and the figure over there, which is 30. I'll put in the divided by sign. I'll move to the amount from which I need to divide it by and see, we get the result percentage, 20 percentage. All right, now see, uh, you are getting 30 over here as difference, 60 as a difference over here and minus 30 over here. Now, if you had to take an average out of it, all right, so would it be a correct average let us see i have in my earlier videos i have told how to calculate average so i would not be elaborating upon it so this is how i'm putting it see it's giving you an average of 20 all right do you think that's in right average here is the correct formatting this is the correct formatting and we'll put in the same formula over here is equal to average parenthesis open selection of range and this is the correct average see 40 over here it is giving 20 because the machine 3 was required to produce 150 objects and it produced 180 objects which gave a negative value of 30 hence a negative error percentage of minus 20 now this negative caused the averages to go down hence to correct this error, to correct this formatting problem with Excel, this is an inbuilt problem with Excel. So what we need to do is, whenever we have to make such kind of calculations, we will have to move into this type of thing. And if you see over here, I have done the regular minus format over here. C is equal to C11 minus D11. Over here again, I've been i11 minus j11 now this is i this is a cell the address is i11 because i is the column 11 is the row all right minus j11 j is the column i is the row 
oh, sorry, j is the column and 11 is 0. So once I minus it, once I did uh, subtract it, it gives me the same result. However, if you see, what have I put over here? Is equal to abs, then parenthesis open. Yes, I'll show it to you. Is equal to abs. See, what does it say? Returns the absolute value of a number, a number without its sign. Hence, allowing you the freedom to calculate averages perfectly, calculate percentages perfectly, is equal to now. We'll simply do what we're required to do, subtract 120 out of 150, and here comes the result. Same over here, see over here. This gave us a minus 30 sign over here, there is no minus 30 sign. 150 is here, 150 is here in the required field. In the actual field, we have 180. In the actual field, we have 180. But in the difference field, we have 30. So we did magic by using ABS. So this was ABS formula for you. And now the second way of using this formula, as I tell in most of my videos, would be by going to the Excel ribbon, going to the formulas tab, going to insert function, and see it is showing me this argument actually since I calculated I was on a cell which was already having a formula built into it so now I will type a B S over here I'll click on go see it's not giving anything why because 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 we need to submit it, this to Bill Gates. Uh, it didn't show anything, but when I clicked OK, it did show in the answer. Not the answer, but the formula. Now, what it shows over here is just the number. We need to enter a number and it will return that number without a sign. However, as I told you, I told you about a more, more, more advanced feature that we can use ABS with other formulas built in. Like, I don't think so. This would be the right way. Again, my feature, ABS bracket open. This minus this is the answer. So this is ABS feature for you. Once again, do not forget to go to my channel, my web page, in case you need to download this file. Do go to the website and yes, here are the social websites linked. If you like it, please do go ahead, share it, like it, follow it as you do. Alright, so do, uh, if you have any questions in Excel, do go into this page, ask a question. My website's name is excelmadeeasy.weebly.com. Go to this web page, click on ask a question and put in your comments over here or your question over here. And I'll try to revert back as soon as possible with the solution. Alright, getting back to my business. Alright, so this was your this was your uh, this was the tutorial on ABS, absolute value, which returns the absolute figure without a sign, either a plus or a negative. This is the Excel Guru signing off. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy Excel learning.